Gotta get the money, I know that for sure Can't tell you things you already know Been there, done that from the go R.I.P. to my old ways, I gotta keep it real To begin our midsole swap project, we're gonna need to remove that stitching in the toe box first But this insole will get in our way from removing that stitching So we're gonna have to remove that insole first so there are five main points to why we want to remove the stitching on the toe box. One, it's easier for us to access our crumbled midsole instead of using a long tool and scraping it all off. Two, we're not wasting any resources. So I've seen a lot of people dig deep with cotton balls and acetone, which could be prevented by just unstitching the toe cap. Three, I've seen a lot of people leave the stitching on and while they're removing all that crumbled midsole I see a lot of creasing on the toe box. Four, we're applying fresh new adhesive on a toe cap so there won't be any separations in the future. And five, because I got the juice like that bruh. If she brought the liquor, then I got the juice. For real. I call up my buddy, he bringing them through. For real. I got it all but got nothing to lose. Listen, I'm talking about how you don't With a shoe this old, it's easy for the toe box to separate. So that's why that's one of the reasons why I removed the stitching on the toe cap. So I can have full access to the opening and put fresh new adhesive. It's time at the time. Had the time at the time and I mean that for real. I do it for real. I do what they want, they won't do it, I will. I say that sincerely, I'm Bishop UQ and you know that I'm shooting to kill It's clear how I feel, in a literal sense I'm just working for meals For me, I'm an environmentalist, so I care about the earth that we're living in So using acetone, using cotton balls is only a waste I like to be resourceful, so to protect mother earth So we're gonna boil the soles, we're gonna heat up the adhesive We're gonna scrape it all off and we're gonna dump all this water back in the ocean with all that crumbled midsole. You know, sometimes when we boil our soles, it's a little too bland. So let's add a little bit of kick to this, alright? I still think it's lacking a little bit of flavor, so we're gonna julienne some onions, carrots, and celery, and mirepoix it up, cuz... Alright, you know I'm just messing around, you know, acting like a fool, so let's, uh, let's really do this restoration, you know what I'm saying? Joke lang in the gang, let's go, baby. <laughs> so by boiling them in hot water, we're able to soften up the midsoles and scrape it off with ease with a scraper. Do be careful when you're removing that crumbled midsole on the uppers and make sure to use a more pliable tool when you're removing it. Using something metal will further damage the uppers. Let's say if your hand slips and it hits the, the upper material where the midsole does not cover the uppers, you're left with something irrevocable and it's permanently damaged. So just make sure you use something pliable. Uh, like a plastic scraper and make sure you're very careful when you're removing all of this crumbled midsole. As you've already seen, we're taping off the uppers to prevent any further damages that may occur when we're removing that crumbled midsole. So we're doing a controlled um, cleanup. So this is just to ensure there won't be any acetone runoff on the uppers. Everything will be clean, everything is precise. So honestly, like, it takes time to tape up the uppers, but it's well worth it in the end when your shoe looks close to factory after the swap. That's an all on question, girl, you know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at Coles, you in dental school. 
Wife and I, you fucking clothes, cooking dinner too. Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pink Griffey too. It's only right. To thoroughly clean up the uppers, we're gonna use cotton balls and acetone with the help of our heat gun to melt that adhesive so everything will slide off like butter. Same process applies to the rubber sole, except we're gonna use a Dremel tool to thoroughly make sure that every crumbled piece is off. So the next step is to remove that factory paint off of that midsole. So what we're going to do is we're going to use cotton balls and acetone to strip that baby off. I don't know if you'll be lonely someone now. I know that I want you so much so. Now that we've taken care of the factory midsole paint, it's time to bond the midsole to the rubber sole. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply our adhesive on the rubber sole and onto the bottom of the midsole. Let it cure for a couple of hours, let it harden, let it dry out. Use heat to make it tacky again and then bond them together for a really rich, strong bomb, bobo. Hey yo, check this out. So you see how we're using a 2015 brand new donor midsole on a 1999 sole? The fitment is not going to be 100%, so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it by shaving the bottom of that foam midsole off to accommodate and make sure that fitment is 100%. Um, so what we're gonna, it's a little bit too high from what you see, that's why you see that gap. So by shaving the midsole on the bottom, you can see that's flush. So it fits perfect. All you got to do now is glue it properly and then it's going to look factory. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. It's finally time to paint our midsoles. Dang, that took a long time to prep. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tape our outsole, make sure none of that paint seeps through. So you know, prep game strong, you feel me? So now we're gonna apply our Angelus paint, put a couple of coats, I'd say like six or seven coats of white, tape off the part where we need to put the black paint, tape that off, put the black paint, and put that finisher on. Just 
let me just remind you guys because we're using a new 2015 midsole the uh, fitment is not going to be 100% on the uppers so what we're going to do is we're going to shave off that excess foam that raises that upper a little bit so you see that gap so shaving this down will lower the uppers and make everything flush and again look close to factory as what exactly I know what to do I'm not being good it's a for Tiana this one here for you oh, oh baby when you're in Toronto all I'm gonna wanna do is bring you to the condo So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a C-clamp and a piece of wood that I got from Home Depot for the free nine to nine, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now nah, they're going to throw it away. So I just asked if I could get it. So yeah, I got that free for free 99. You know, so the, what the wood does is going to distribute that pressure across the shoe. So it's going to make the rest of the shoe um, flush downwards. And while it's doing that, I'm adjusting the fitment to see if everything's okay, as you can see here. And I'm gonna tape off the uppers to know where I'm gonna glue. So I'm. This is, you know, one of the extra steps that I take that I make sure the fitment's 100%, and there's no excess of glue that is protruding out. Yeah. All I'm looking for is substance That I can't seem to find at parties or these functions I'm losing balance too often, I should invest in crutches Although I'm falling, that's just how I know my blessings coming Much that I'm a El Dinero if we talking deals And that's the all the labels If your adhesive gets a little too thick, you can use a heater to help melt that adhesive And it becomes like water again Hanging in a passenger side in his best friend's ride. Try oh, hold, 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 wait, 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 wait. We're getting too carried away now here. Uh, so we're gonna apply the adhesive on the soles now. And that's to be expected. Just don't get too obsessive. Don't waste a large amount of time. You're better off investing. And for the record, Indiana's what I'm often repping. Even though they never really checking for their best selection. And to be honest, I can't help but take it personal when niggas from the city all the same. Nobody's versatile. They rapping or they trapping. Two so we're gonna let the adhesive cure for a couple of hours. So now that they've been cured, we can heat it up. Heat up the adhesive on the missile, heat up the adhesive on the others, bond them together, clamp them together, make sure they love each other, let it cure again for another couple hours so it solidifies, and then it's boom, baby. Change up, I won't ever change up. Yeah, so all I'm looking for. Alright, I know what you guys are saying. John, you dummy, you did not apply the varnish, you didn't apply the matte finisher before, you attached the missile to the uppers, you idiot. But you know what? What I have to say to you is, bruh, you ain't the one swapping the shoes. <laughs> no, I totally, I was rushing it, dude. Like, I was a little impatient, so I was like, dude, F this, I'm just gonna glue the uppers back together. But now, it's more of a pain in the booty. Because I have to do an extra step to make sure that the varnish does not get on the uppers. Because if it does get on the uppers, it's not going to look pretty. And it's damn near impossible to take it all off once it solidifies and dries up. So what we're doing now is we're going to tape up the uppers. Prep the uppers and put that Christmas theme saran wrap paper again. I can't change for you. I got things to do. Yeah. Change up, I won't ever change up. Change up. You guys want to know a little secret on how to remove that excess adhesive on the uppers? So, what you have to do is tape off the area that is not affected by the adhesive. Use a heat gun to heat it up. Use a q tip dip that q-tip in a 70 percent isopropyl alcohol and just go back and forth lightly 
otherwise if you put a little bit too much pressure the door buck will rip off and you just late 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 yourself now nah, but for real just be careful so we're gonna hit the shoes with Krylon matte finisher make sure you want to spray away from the shoes first so when you press that nozzle make sure it's not on the shoes itself make sure it's like away from the shoes and then you can glide it over the shoes this will ensure that you there won't be any overspray and everything will be uniform if you happen to get any overspray of paint or varnish into your air unit and it's it's cloudy or there's paint excess paint showing on the air unit you can easily remove it by using con con tips or q-tips or uh q-tips uh 70 alcohol and a flat edge in this case i'm using like a uh this thing i don't know so yeah can y'all tell me what this thing is called like what like a, a baby flathead someone giving them praise listen girl i'm not the type so dress to impress i have my days i'm comfortable wearing sweatsuits and jakes yeah let's talk about your dreams i'm all this what's your favorite color we're nearing the end of the midsole swap, so right now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing a toe cap restitch. I'm not gonna go fully in depth, it's just more for visuals. I will be making a separate toe cap restitch video. We could dream instead, mesmerized by what led us here. I met you at the function, met you at the function. Never thought for a second it was you I'm trusting. Uh huh. Whenever you run into some things that they say aren't true, don't forget who you are, girl. You can't be too far. Brown as the water, yeah, I knew I wanted brown as the water. Middle at the station, middle at the station, middle at the station. I knew I wanted brown as the water. Middle at the station, middle at the station, middle at the station. Now I said what? Well, Chase the cover, beautiful eyes Could take you away from home, Wizard of Oz Girl, you know I am not lying The window still you're so open Swear that I've been looking right in Now, baby, don't you be frightened Don't know about your spirit, I'll teach you the science Came in from tour and I just landed from far And no, it ain't time for the talking Cause it's early Juve morning I just ran into K Forest Yo, all the gallum look gorgeous Who you telling that notice? Couple paintings and shorties Bentings and NY, no shortage Like chicks with beauty in your brains Don't gotta be in that order And looking into yourself is what I want you to do more of Fly! Whenever you run into some things that they say aren't true Don't forget who you are Cause you can't be too far Brown as the water Yeah, I knew I wanted brown as the water